Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to come to you guys with hopefully a quick um, review on this lace front wig right here. You guys are going to be shocked at the color. You probably will be, who knows. But it's this beauty right here. This one is the Sensational Empress Lace Wig. And this is the style Bella. I got this color T427613. I have been looking for a blonde unit for the longest. And Brown Sugar was the one brand that I was looking for because I wanted something short, fun, and flirty. And I can never find that wig. One, for a good price. And two, in the color I wanted. So which is like the golden blonde. So I'm gonna be trying out my first blonde wig, guys. I do not know how I wear blonde. I don't wear it well when I bleach my hair, um, but I mean, I have gray hair, so gray hair is a rendition of blonde. It's just cool tone. Anyway, so this is, I think this is for my, whoop, this is my first sensational wig. I don't even, I can't even keep up with the Joneses right now. I just, can't even keep up with it, as many wigs as I have. So it comes packaged like this. It says it has a lace front edge and it's 100% premium fiber. So it's probably really soft. This is the wig I'm gonna wear to work today because, well, I don't have to, but because I am on my way to work. So, ooh, okay, she is soft. She is definitely blonde. Quite a bit of fallout. I know with the lighter units and even colored units, it definitely, she's very soft though. The curls are really pretty. They're um, thick ringlets. It's really cute. I have a feeling that she's gonna look really fake on me. I picked her out because of course the model looks freaking gorgeous. They all do. Um, this lace is rough. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good. It, I don't know if you could see, it almost looks paper-like. It sounds paper-like. So the lace is a no-no for me. So I'm glad I'm wearing um, my my wig band here. Let me show you guys the wig. Let me flip her inside out. She has um, she has the lace front, but there is no like a lot of lace. There's no like parting space. It doesn't look like it looks like it's a free part. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna like that. There's a comb directly right on the front. Two combs on the side. Again, I do not know what to do with that. Um, and then there's a comb in the back, which that I like. Um, it has the adjustable straps. It does feel like it's a smaller cap or a snug cap. Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about this. It does look breathable. There's the tracks right there. Um, I don't know. I really... Uh, this is my first blonde wig and I don't even know if I made a good choice. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the lace and then I'll throw her on and get ready. <laughs> I do not know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this wig, but I'm gonna take some of my Moco de Gorilla and a toothbrush and just literally, just a little bit. This stuff is only for my wig, so there's like, it is not looking cute. Just cleaning up my baby hairs so that this unit doesn't look overly ridiculous on me. <laughs> there is no part which bothers me the most because at least I can I can work with sun and make it look kind of good. But girl, these curls. These curls are giving me shit right now. I know the girl wears it as a kind of middle part. I'm gonna have to go to work like this, guys. I ain't even like excited. She's a really pretty unit. I'm not even gonna front. As far as the color goes, I think my husband might be like, what the fuck? 
<laughs> my husband might be like, okay, strange. All right, so let's see. She's cute. I love the curls. I think the curls are amazing. It's really the color that's, it's stressing me out, guys. I don't know. I just, I mean, I love the dark brown roots with the gradients into the, like the brown, into the blonde, and it has like the natural blonde highlights. This is probably what my hair would look like if I bleached it and didn't tone it. Um, that doesn't mean it'll look right on me, but you know, whatever, to each their own. I love the zhuzh of the curls. The curls are, the hair feels like a very light, silky texture almost, maybe a little bit yakky, but it's not at all. It's very smooth. There is kind of, there's actually not that much shine. This looks like you put a conditioner in your hair and you let the natural curls come out. I'm like wondering if I should brush it out, but I feel like if I brush it out, it's just gonna poof up more and we don't need that. I feel like the Latina Curly Sue from Connecticut. Okay, so I really don't know what to do about this hair. I think she's really pretty, but like there's no, there's nothing I can do about the part because there is no part. It literally stops like right here where the lace is and then it's a cap. So I really don't like the construction of it because I feel like if maybe this was a four by four part, I could definitely rock with it. I could make it look more natural. But what I did was I pulled my baby hairs out, which you see there. I parted my hair. Um, I slicked it back with some moco. And yes, I don't use the glued because I haven't bought it yet, but this is the this is what I found and this is what I'm using. Um, and I really just use it for my baby hairs when I stick out the wig. So I think she's cute. I really do think she's cute. I don't know how I feel about the color on me. Um, I could rock with it though. I've never been one to just not, um, you know, I don't know. I just never bought a blonde wig because I wanted to find something that was more curly or short and sassy. Like if she was like this, I definitely would probably rock her a little bit more. Um, freely or without any worries but I mean she's really cute I could pull her back and it looks really good like this um, I'll show you guys the back of the wig the curls I feel like are on point this is about an 18 to 20 inch wig of course the curls um, without the curls it would be longer um, it feels like there's a good amount of hair I don't know what this looks like in the back now what I did was I actually tightened the cap to its tightest setting and it feels perfectly snug. I didn't put the combs, there's like a comb right here and two combs right there. And I only secured the comb in the back, which I love. And of course I really don't have a problem with, I mean you could see the, this is where the lace is of the wig. But my hair will be kind of covering that anyway. Um, what you can do with something like this is actually you can add a little bit of brown to this section right here, which I think I'm going to do. First, I'm going to take my Kat Von D powder that just went all over my shirt. This is the translucent powder. And you just take an angled brush to clean it up a bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to touch up this area where my part is, I'm actually just going to do that. And create like a faux parted area where it blends with the wig. Now what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a small shader brush like this. This is an elf shader brush and I'm gonna take a black, you could take a very dark brown. Um, I'm only gonna lightly take it, tap off excess. And what I'm gonna do is just going to dust this on the root like so so what it did was it it took it from looking really light to just darkening it up and creating a shadow in a sense and i do this to a lot of my wigs i noticed lately because i want to keep it looking more of a shadow um you definitely can see the lace on this like i'll show you guys i'm not sure if you could see this And I could definitely fix my baby hairs or my front hairs. I actually love this wig. I do 
I love her. I don't know about the color on myself, but I love the curl pattern on this. I love how soft she is. She feels lush. She feels conditioned, like as if you were to just condition your hair and, and give it, you know, some life. Um, I do like the cap tightness of it um so i wouldn't say that this is completely big head friendly or women that have a lot of hair or men that have a lot of hair that wear these kind of wigs the cap on it fits almost exact i did tighten it a little bit but are you focused okay i did tighten it to its tightened setting because i knew i wasn't going to use the combs and i wanted it more secure um i do recommend her if you're just looking for something sassy that doesn't necessarily have a part or anything like that you just want something full curly kind of short looking it's not that short though um it is about an 18 inch i want to say yeah it's about an 18 inch um again the cap fits great i love the gradients from the dark brown to a little bit of the blonde to the mix of blonde the, the um the 613 and the 27 there's a lot more 27 to this unit um actually no there's a good mix of both so yeah this is my first blonde wig guys i'm not even kidding i have one that's like a half brown half blonde and it was so ugly on me if i find a picture i'll insert i'll insert it here but it is so ugly it's so ugly but anyway well i wore it really ugly <laughs> anyway guys that's pretty much it for my review on the empress style bella unit here um from sensational i will leave the link down below where you can find this beauty here um i bought this with my own coins of course it's not sponsored or anything like that but yeah just my honest opinion i'll warm up to it i always do i i you know I always do so whenever I feel like I'm having a little Marilyn Monroe moment I will just rock her out and I chose the perfect lip for it because this is a very orangey lip if you're wondering what lipstick this is this is Jeffree Star's um, checkmate from his holiday collection so it's very orangey uh, red but it actually suits me so anyway guys that's pretty much it I hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always I will see you guys in my next video love you guys bye